Hello everyone. Hola a todos. Jin doble. Anyaseyo. Konjiwa. Bonjour. Welcome to our NCE training courses. I'm Darren from Novastar, today's host. Our training will start soon. And today's topic is cloud-based solution. To provide you a good training environment, we sincerely suggest you to keep your audio on mute mode during the whole session. And please scan the QR code or click the link at the chat room to sign in. If you can't click the link, please copy and paste it to your browser. Feel free to leave your questions that are related to today's topic on the chat room. We will reply to you later on the Q&A session. If you have any other questions that are not about this topic, uh, please feel free to send an email to nce at novastar.tech. So now, let's welcome our beautiful trainer, Jenny. She is today's trainer. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Jenny from North Star. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It has been five months since the last NCE training. During this period, we have received many emails from customers asking for the news about the second online NCE training. Now we are back. Thanks to the friends who have already has always supported North Star. Thank you. First, I'd like to start with a short introduction of uh, NCE training to the guys who are not much familiar. The full name of NCE is a uh, Nova Star Certified Engineer. We have trained more than 3,000 individuals all over the world since it started in 2014. By giving multiple courses and developed chances to embrace the LED control system, NCE courses enable you to operate and maintain the equipment independently. Because of the special situation, this year we held the training online. We are hoping more techniques could get the knowledge and the certification even in this hard time. Okay, this term we will have seven courses and a final examination. You could get the online certification if you sign in for six courses at least and pass the final ex examination. Okay, I hope you guys could go to all the courses and make a good score. Okay, today we will spend one hour together. During this time, we are going to learn about the cloud-based solution. Okay, this course is very, very important because after the first group of our NCE training in May, many customers told us they want to know uh, how to use the Taurus card and how to publish solutions by the Linux. Okay, so our cloud-based solution is coming. Okay, let's start. I hope we will have a great day together. Okay, here for uh, this topic, we will learn about uh, four parts. The part one, the Taurus series introduction, and uh, uh, second is connection method. The third one, uh, software operation, and the uh, last one, we will learn about the uh, Linux. So before we talk about the, today's topic, first, let me show you some successful cases which made by the Taurus card. Okay, a short video for you. These screens are made by the Taurus in the Shenzhen North Railway Station. The screen display very uh, perfectly uh, without any problem since last year. Next one, also a short video. So here we can see we can splice uh, the screen together and uh, all the screens can display separately and also it can display as a whole image. Okay, next one. 
This is a magic cube, and uh, we can configure the six screens, six side of the screen to a big screen, and we just need to uh, customize the uh, video source to the six side of the screen. And here we can see uh, the customers use his smartphone to control the screen and uh, publish the content. Okay, after we know uh, some uh, successful cases made by the Taurus, uh, now let's get into today's part one, the Taurus series introduction. Okay, here we can say this is a, a normal LED screen. Okay, question for you. What is behind the LED screen? I think from the uh, first class, you have already know the basic structure of the LED control system. Yes, normally we need a PC and a sending card. Uh, the PC is to provide the video source to the sending card and the control command to the sending card. So this basic structure, we call it the synchronous system basic structure. Because all the uh, display on your screens is uh, the same as your PC. And for the video source, you can replace the PC to a media player box. Okay, but for this kind of screen, I think uh, the, uh, a PC is uh, not easy to put into the screen. So if we want to change a new picture, maybe someone will say, uh, I can use a industrial PC. So do we need to bring a laptop or drive a car to the screen place every time to change the image or the videos? And someone may say, uh, I can use a, a Timur to remote control the industrial PC. But uh, I think the uh, industrial PC, it is uh, uh, not easy to, uh, not easy available for the internet. So can we make it easier and simple? Okay, let's see what Nova Star can help here. So here comes our new generation asynchronous media player. Compared with the uh, synchronous system structure on the left side, uh, there is no need to use a PC and a sending card anymore. No more device, only one Taurus can make your screen work perfectly. Okay, now let's see some features about our Taurus card. The first one, Omin directional control. So this function means uh, we can use our iPhone or Android phone or the app to connect with the Taurus and use uh, this to control the Taurus. And also we can use our Taurus to connect with the internet by the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet cable. And sometimes maybe you need a remote control. You can use our cloud Windows to publish content and monitor the working status. Okay, the second one, uh, synchronous and asynchronous dual mode switch. So for this function, uh, like the TB6 and uh, TB8, uh, the Taurus card has a dual mode. If uh, the Taurus, Taurus works in the asynchronous mode, so it means uh, we will display its internal videos or the images. And if it is work in the synchronous mode, so we need to use HDMI cable to connect from the PC to the Taurus card, then the screen will display the same as the, your PC. Okay, uh, for this function, you can set in the VPLEX, VPLEX Express software, and also you can set in front, in the Taurus front panel, the switch button, click it, it will switch to the synchronous mode, and click again, it will uh, switch to the asynchronous mode. Okay, the third one, the redundant backup. So normally, if we use the uh, backup function, we need to set, we need to do some settings in uh, Nova LCT software, such as 
um, sending card part sending card two part two is the backup for the sending card one port two but uh, sorry but for the Taurus card we don't need to do a, to do any settings because the output port has already has the backup relationship you just need to plug in the keyboard to the corresponding output port then the backup is finished it is very easy okay the force slice and auto scale the slice function as i told as i show you at the beginning we can splice uh, all the screens together and uh, the screens can display separately and it can also display as a whole image and auto scale function so uh, normally if we need the scale function we need a video processor in front of the sitting card but for our Taurus no more need a video processor it has the auto scale function no matter your uh, video source, your, no matter your screen is uh, bigger or smaller than your video source, we will realize uh, the auto scale function. Okay, and uh, last one, uh, our Taurus will have more functions uh, like the bar screen, or you may call it the LED Pro screen along the side. There will be many screens. We use many Taurus cards. Uh, so if we want the um, screen uh, brightness adjustment, we can add the uh, light sensor to the Taurus card. Then the uh, brightness will, uh, will adjust uh, according to the environment brightness. And also we can add the uh, lower module to the Taurus card. Then all the screens can display at the same time with no time delay. Okay, so these are the uh, comparison form of the uh, Taurus card. Uh, from this comparison form, you can find some common and uh, different uh, features. Okay, you can take a picture or a screenshot. Okay, now after we know the, some features of the Taurus, let's see how to configure Taurus step by step. So about today's topic, we will use two software. The first one is Nova LCT, and the second is Vaplex Express. Okay, so I think from the previous four class, you have already know how to use the Nova LCT software. And also in the second class, Darren has already told you the uh, studio mode of the Vaplex Express software. Okay, today I'll show you uh, the asynchronous mode of the Vaplex Express software. Okay, first, before we use the Taurus card to publish uh, solutions or content, we need to uh, light our PC and the Taurus connected. There are two ways. Um, we can use Wi-Fi or the Ethernet cable to connect with the Taurus card. Okay, by the first one by Wi-Fi. So the Taurus card has the dual Wi-Fi mode, Wi-Fi AP and uh, Wi-Fi station. The Wi-Fi AP is for the other devices to search the Taurus and connect it. And uh, the Wi-Fi station is for the Taurus to um, connect to other Wi-Fi. Oh, okay, so here uh, the Wi-Fi should start with AP the Wi-Fi should start with AP and end with the last four number, which on the Taurus box outside. Okay, click connect. The uh, Wi-Fi password is one two three four five six seven eight. Then the our Taurus will connect with our PC. Okay, the second way to connect uh, with the Taurus is we can use the Ethernet cable. We just need to plug in the Ethernet cable to the PC and uh, Taurus. And then open the Webplex Express software here in the terminal interface. The, uh, we can say the DHCP service button, just to open it. Then the Taurus will connect with your PC. 
Okay, then after this, how can we know our torus is online or not? So in this interface, if the torus is online, we can see the icon in front of the terminal name turns green. And also we can see the online number is one. So this means our torus is online and uh, the PC is connected with our torus. Okay, now let's say the uh, software operations, how to publish the content by our Taurus. Okay, before we use the Taurus to publish the solutions, first we need to light our screen show correctly. So we need to configure the screen first. Okay, this time we need to use the uh, software Nova LCT. I think it is uh, uh, easy for you. So open Nova LCT here, user, user. We can see there are three choices. The, uh, uh, the first one is uh, advanced uh, synchronous system user login. And the second is demonstration login. And the third one is media player login. And the first one is for the independent setting controller to login. And the second one, if we don't connect any controllers and, want, and we want to show some functions of our normal LCT, we can use the demonstration mode. And here, if we use the Taurus card, we need to choose the third one, the media player login. Okay, we select the third one, media player login. Then if our Taurus is online, here we can say the terminal name. Okay, and then, Click the connect system. We can see in this pop-up window, the username is admin and password. Remember, remember this password is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, click okay. Okay, after we log in, now we, let's get into the screen configuration interface. Here we can see in the screen configuration interface, it is a little bit different from the uh, independent sending controller. There are only two parts, receiving card part and the screen connection part. Okay, so in this interface, uh, we need to load RC FGX file and uh, then go to the screen connection interface and uh, finish the screen connection. And don't forget send and save then our screen will show, will display uh, correctly. Okay, now after our screen display, display correctly, now let's go back to our Webplex Express software. Here we can see there are four parts. The first one is terminals, second solutions, and the uh, the advanced solutions, and the last one is terminal so, uh, control. Okay, in the terminal interface, we can check if our Taurus is online or not. So I think this interface is, uh, uh, is easy for you. And uh, the um, second uh, solution interface, we can add or edit or delete our solutions. And the, and the advanced uh, solutions, we can make a schedule for the solutions we made in this interface and uh, we can customize what solution will be played in which time. Okay, and the last part, terminal control. Uh, so in this interface, we will see some uh, functions of our Taurus card. Later, I'll show you. Okay, now let's see how to publish the solutions. Okay, here we get into the solution interface. Here we can see, in here we can, we can create a new or uh, a new solutions or publish, publish it directly to a uh, selected Taurus card. And uh, also here we can export solutions to a file and uh, copy the file to the USB drive. So the next time you can just to plug in the USB drive and uh, uh, display your solutions. Okay, 
Okay, here now we um, we add a new solutions. Click here, new. And then we get into the solution information interface. Here we can see some informations like the solution name. We can give our solution a name. Here we name it demo solution. Okay, and the resolution part, we can select the specified terminal. So this means we can choose the terminal we want to display. And also, if we don't choose the specific terminal, we can also manually uh, type in the uh, resolutions, the width and height. Okay, after this, click OK. Then we get into the uh, solution edit interface. So if you remember the second uh, uh, class, Darren has already showed you the studio mode of the uh, Webplex Express software is totally the same um, with the asynchronous mode. Uh, and, but there is only one difference. Uh, in a studio mode, uh, there is a playback window in, in the left corner, but in the asynchronous mode, there isn't. Okay, so they, in this interface, uh, at top, we can see some media type like the file, text, colorful words, clock, etc. And also, uh, the, uh, we can see some function buttons like the uh, zoom up, zoom down, and uh, layer up, layer down, etc. Okay, on the right side, we can do some settings. So here, uh, now we, uh, we want to display a solutions. We need to click the add button here, add button. Now, and we add, um, mm, we add this Academy Novastar image from the file, and then we can do some from the file, and then we can do some settings uh, on the right side, uh, like the area, uh, area, the X and Y coordinates and the width and the height. And also we can drag our mouse to uh, change the area. Okay, and also we can uh, set some playing, uh, dura uh, play duration time, play count and uh, entrance effect, etc. Okay, so now after all the settings are finished, then we need to click the publish button. Click publish button. Okay, then we will get into the publish interface. Here, select the terminal we want to display and click publish again. And then wait until the progress bar to 100%. Okay, so your solution uh, is uh, displayed, uh, is published uh, uh, successfully. Okay, now we have already know how to publish the solutions. Now let's see the advanced solutions. So the advanced solutions we can create new or import or export from here. Okay, so here we choose these advanced solutions and make a schedule for this. As I just told you, we can make a schedule and, cus and customize what solutions will be played in which time. Okay, here we choose the, uh, this one, the advanced solution two. Okay, click it and then we get into uh, this interface. Here we need to make the schedule. Here we need, uh, we click the add button. Okay, after click it, we can get this, this interface. The, we can choose the solution we just uh, uh, published before. Okay, here we choose the demo solution and we can set the validity range. We custom uh, uh, the validity range from uh, October the 20th to October the 31st. And also we can set the uh, repeat uh, time 
uh, in working days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And also we can set some, uh, uh, add some playback duration time. Okay, and have you noticed there is a non-scheduled content? The non-scheduled content, so uh, if you select, uh, we can select the solutions we add before. So it means if a period of time, uh, there is no schedule here, there is no schedule. So uh, in this, uh, it will default to play the non-scheduled content. Okay, after all the settings are finished, click Add. Click Add. So the, the advanced solutions is finished. Okay, now after we know how to publish solutions and how to make the, uh, the advanced solutions, um, what we will do next? Okay, now let me show you some uh, functions of our Taurus card in the terminal control interface. Uh, there are 17 functions. Um, today I'll show you some uh, the most useful functions like the playback management, the brightness adjustment, uh, video source, uh, the play logs and uh, the terminal control. These functions are uh, the most useful. Okay, let's check one by one. So in the uh, playback manage management interface, we can we can select all the solutions in the Taurus card, and we can choose which one we want to display and uh, uh, if you don't need anyone you can select it and uh, delete it and also uh, we can there uh, we can view a screenshot of the exactly moment okay these are the brightness adjustment interface there are two methods Manual and uh, smart, so it is uh, totally the same with our Nova LCT brightness adjustment interface. If you choose manual, you can manually uh, drag the bar to adjustment, adjust the screen brightness. And if you choose the smart, you can uh, make a temptable to uh, adjust the brightness, and also you can add a light sensor. So the screen brightness will change according to your, uh, to the environment brightness. Okay, this interface are the uh, video source interface. There are three choices, menu, timing, and HDMI preferred. So uh, if you choose this one, uh, you can manually choose uh, your Taurus card is uh, uh, in uh, synchronous mode or in the uh, asynchronous mode. So if you choose the timing, you can set which time it is in uh, synchronous mode and uh, which time it is in uh, asynchronous mode. And also HDMI preferred if you choose this one. So this means uh, if we um, connect HDMI cable and have the uh, HDMI video source, so the um, uh, the Taurus will uh, will display the HDMI video source at first. Okay, and uh, the play logs interface, we can see uh, if all my solutions uh, are playing according to the plan, and also we can export it so here please notice we can export the uh, um, play logs within 30 uh, within 30 days from now on okay and uh, terminal great uh, upgrade interface also two ways you can upgrade uh, your terminal the online upgrade and the local Upgrade. So if you choose online, just click here to uh, upgrade your terminal to the newest uh, uh, version. 
And uh, if you click the uh, local upgrade, uh, please remember you need to download the uh, firmware, uh, firmware from our website first, and then, and then you can use the local upgrade. Here we recommend the local upgrade. Um, it is because if you use the uh, online upgrade, um, if the network is not stable, so the upgrade will be very slow. So here we recommend you to uh, do the local upgrade. Okay, so as we cite today's topic is cloud Based solution, it is not just a single product. Uh, now, let's say uh, the part four, the cloud publishing Linux. So, the Linux is a secure cloud based publishing system which you can remote publish and monitor your terminals. So, no matter where you are, as long as you can connect to the internet, you can control the screen, publish uh, solutions, and uh, monitor the working status. Okay, to realize the remote control, there are three ways for the Taurus to connect to the internet by the 4G module, Wi-Fi, and Ethernet cable. Okay, now let's say how to use Phoenix step by step. Okay, now we use the Linux to publish content. First, we need to open the Linux.com. Then we will get into this interface. The first thing we need to do is log in. Okay, click here, log in. And choose the uh, server node, which is the is the, is the nearest to you. So if you don't have a, an account, please sign up first. Okay. Now here we choose China. Click OK. And then log in. Uh, there are two methods we can log in. By, uh, we can use the email address or we can use our phone number to log in. OK, so the Linux, there are three parts. For our Linux, there are three parts. The Linux standard, Linux 80, and I care. So for the uh, Linux standard, it is a use, user content publishing and terminal management complete functionally and easy for use. And for the AD version, uh, it is friendly designed for the user's happiness. Of course, uh, Linux AD has uh, more functions than the Linux standard. So Linux standard is free and the Linux AD you need to pay for it. Okay, and the uh, eye care, you can use the cloud to remote monitoring your screens and your terminals. Okay, after we log in Linux, we can see this interface. Here, the top right corner, we select the player authentication, click it. And then we will get into the authentication information. Here we can see the server address. Here we choose China and the authentication username and then the authentication password. Okay, remember these functions. Remember this, remember this. Because uh, we need uh, this information to bind with, the, uh, to, uh, to light our Taurus card to bind with the Linux. Okay, now let's go back to our Webplex Express software. Here, in the terminal control interface, we need these two functions to bind to uh, the Linux. Okay, first, first, we need to light our towers to connect with the internet. Okay, now we, now we open the network configuration interface. Okay, open it here in the Wi-Fi configuration. We choose uh, Wi-Fi 
and then click it so our towers can connect with the internet. Okay, after this, let's open the second function, server configuration. Please notice here, bind to Linux. Here we can see the server address, authentication username, and uh, authentication password. It is the same. It is the same. We need to fill in like the uh, as the Linux interface. Please fill in this information here. Okay. After we uh, fill in this information, click bind. Here, click bind. And then our towers will connect, will bind to our Linux. Okay, now after our towers connected, uh, bind with the Linux, here we can see the icons in front of the terminal, 10 screen, and also the online number is one. So this means uh, Taurus is uh, bind with our Linux, so we can use the Linux to publish solutions. Okay, now let's compile the Linux interface with the Webflex Express software interface. Here we can see they are almost the same, like the players, it is like the terminals, and uh, solutions, the same as the solutions. And the player control, it is uh, the same as the terminal control. Okay, but there is a little bit different, like the content. So the content, um, please make sure, uh, please make sure uh, your image or your videos you want to uh, publish has already uploaded to the content at first, or you cannot uh, you cannot find anything to add when you publish content. Okay, and uh, the logs, logs. I just told you the logs, the logs in the Webplex in uh, in the Webplex Express software, the logs is in the terminal control interface, uh, and it is the same. Uh, we can uh, export logs within 30 days. And also, another different is here. The the advanced solutions in the Webplex Express software. So here we can see in the Linux standard interface, we, we didn't find in the advanced solutions. It is because now we are using the Linux standard version, so we cannot find it. So if, you, if we use the Linux 80 version, we can find the uh, advanced solutions, then we can make a schedule for the solution and customize what solution will be played in which time. Okay, after comparing this, let's see how to publish solutions by the Linux. Okay, now here we change to the solution interface. It is the same like the Webplex Express software. Okay, now let's publish content. Click, click new. We add a new solutions. Okay, and then the pop-up window, the solution information. Information. Okay, we can set the solution name. Here we name it new solution. And the resolution here, we can also select the uh, the player, it is like the uh, specific terminal in the Webplex Express software. Uh, so if you, if you select uh, this, we can choose which terminal we want to display. And also we can manually tap in the uh, resolution, the width, the height. Okay, after finish the settings, click OK. Now we will get into the Linux solution editing interface. 
here the step is the same as the Webplex Express software. We can click the we can click the add button here and add a page. Add a page here. We can uh, add some image image or the uh, some uh, uh, some videos. And on the right side, we can also do some settings like the x y coordinates and the width and the height and also we can set some uh, uh, entrance effect uh, effect uh, duration time and uh, playback duration time okay after uh, and also we can use our mouse to drag the drag the image to um, to set the width and height okay after all the settings finished click publish button here on the top right corner click publish button this interface is totally uh, the same as the webplex express software okay the step is uh, the same then we can uh, then the uh, solutions will be published okay so these are today's uh, uh, today's uh, topic let me do a summer uh, summary here today today we learn four part the first one the Tara series introduction in this part uh, we learned how we need uh, why we need the uh, Taurus card and also we uh, I show you some pictures of our Taurus card and uh, the second part the connection method uh, we can use the uh, Wi-Fi or the Ethernet cable to connect our PC and uh, the Taurus card. Okay, and uh, uh, the third part, uh, software operations. Uh, in this part, we learned how to publish content by the uh, Taurus card, and uh, also in the terminal in the terminal control interface, I show you some functions uh, of the Taurus card. And the last part. Uh, we learned the, something about the Vinox. In this part, we learned how to bind our Taurus to the Vinox. And uh, uh, at last, we learned how to, the, how to remote publish content by Vinox. Okay, these are very important uh, informations. I hope all you guys can get it. Okay, and what's more, you can go to our website to find more interesting things like the software operations, uh, the product solution series. Uh, here we can see the cloud-based platform solutions. Uh, just to open our website, uh, go to the support and training part, uh, and uh, the Noaster online workshops, you can find anything you are interested in. Okay, so this is all the pre presentation for today. Thank you for your attention. Uh, so please scan a QR code or click link at chat room. We need your feedback. Okay, and uh, uh, we will record a video for this session and it will upload to the Novastar YouTube channel in two days. Uh, okay, and uh, now let's go get into our Q and a part. I'll hand over this part to our experienced technical engineer, Emilia. He will answer all the questions you have posted uh, uh, on the chat room.